What's up, Internet? Talking today about free tips to boost PC performance. And tip number three is not safe for work. <laughs> yeah, boy. So if by some miracle you're in an actual office, you might want to wait until you get home. Ang video na to ay handog ni cdkoffers.com. Marami kang mahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK Offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CDK ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. Tip number one is determine who is worthy. All programs want to run on startup, but it's up to you to say if they're worthy of that honor. You want to keep the programs that start on startup to a bare minimum because the more programs that are running in the background, the more resources your system needs to devote to having those programs run. Imagine if you're trying to play a demanding game like COD, but you also have torrents running, and your Word file, and your Excel, and you're unzipping a file, you have Steam on, you have Viber on, you have Discord on, you have your browsers on because you need to search paano yung walkthrough dito kasi hindi ka makalampas sa level na to. All of those things add up pretty quickly and even beefy computers with lots of cores and threads will bog down eventually. Doing this tip is easy. Just go to Task Manager, Startup tab, and then enable or disable any program that you don't want running on Startup. Personally, I only allow ShareX, which is a screenshot tool which I use very regularly Slack, Google Drive, Viber, and my BitTorrent downloading program. Those are the only things that I allow to run on startup. Tip 2 in line with keeping your PC lean is making sure what gets installed on your computer. Some programs are a bit sketchy and when you're installing them, they ask you, is it okay if I install another program which you don't actually need? So you need to be mindful of the installation screens that come up asking for your permission. Just don't click next, next, okay, okay. Because you might actually be accepting programs that you don't need. You may also need to check the advanced tab. Sometimes programs bury that option underneath that tab. Yung masakit pa dito, nag yes ka nga. You approve the installation of a program that you most likely will never need and will just result in slowing down your computer. Tip number three is not safe for work. <laughs> yeah, boy. And as they sing in Avenue Q, The internet is really, really great. The internet is for porn. What you do in your free time is none of my business. But as with anything sex-related, be safe. In the offline world, that means using this. I. Di pala. Actually, it's a thermal paste to, but looks quite similar, right? In the offline world, you take steps to be protected. The same needs to be done for your online activities. Online protection means being careful about where and what you click. Don't click any of those banners that you find on those sites. Don't click on the banner saying 10 beautiful girls are waiting for you in Quezon City. Don't click begin download. Don't click enter email address. Basically, those pages are minefields. Those pages are littered with booby traps that a simple click can result in malware, can result in all sorts of really nasty bugs. Any interaction with those sites should be done cautiously. Never press OK, like OK to watch this video, or click here to close this window. Don't even use that to close. Use your browser commands. Be wary of the interface options presented to you by those sites. Sa totoo lang, ginawa ko lang tong video na to so that I would have an excuse to my wife if she caught me surfing these sites. I could say na, oh, it's for work. Hirap ng trabaho ko, no? Tip 4, if you do get spyware or bloatware, you'll need a good program to remove them. And if you've watched Pwede Magtanong, our live tech show, we're always recommending super anti-spyware. 
It might have a goofy name, it might have an interface that hasn't been updated since the time Eropa was president, but the thing actually works. And in our experience, it actually removes some programs which other anti-spyware things cannot remove or aren't even able to detect. Tip 5, we're done with the porn, so now we're down to the boring stuff and you hear this all the time, update your drivers. Especially for new games, updated drivers can significantly enhance or improve the performance. Although I do have to note that updating drivers is not good all the time. Recently, both Nvidia and AMD's drivers have been a bit rocky. They're only supposed to do good things, but when you install them, actually it increases system instability. So my general advice is, if you are okay with the performance of your system, there's really no need to update drivers. But if you're looking for a performance hit, especially for new games, then updating might be an option. The general advice before was to update as frequently as possible, but really with the iffy nature of drivers nowadays, I'm a bit reluctant to suggest that. Last tip number six is kind of dated. In the olden days, and I mean like really old, old Windows 3.1 days, the advice was to lessen the icons that you have on your desktop because they impact system performance. Your PC needs to draw on resources to display those icons, those images, those sprites. To be honest, I don't know how true that was then, and it's certainly not true now, in the sense that it takes a very minuscule amount of computing resources for modern computers to have those icons on the screen. So by all means, keep your desktop as messy as you want. But I got into the habit of not having any icons on screen, so I just automatically hide all icons. Besides, kung maraming icons sa desktop mo, paano makikita yung wallpaper mo? So those are six free tips to improve any PC's performance. If you want to hear more about tip number three, please let me know in the comments so that I have a work reason to go to those sites. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching internet and special thanks to our top fans, Christian Espinosa, John Ruben Ocha, ITX Addict, Ian Meru, Richard Onkinko, Leah Magnaye, and Dom H. Maraming maraming salamat po.